All of his co-workers were gone. What could I, I, I didn't do anything. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It wasn't going to kill me. I should have just... New content. Oh, but new content? Yeah. What does that mean? New content. What do you think it means? I don't know. Cool. Oh, neat. Oh, we're going into. The end is never the end is never the end. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Thank you. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. It was. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Yeah. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Mo. Parable, delighting audiences the world over. This is cool. It's like a ride. It really is like a cool ride. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. Yeah. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I am too, narrator. Let's go through it together. Let's uh, let, let's explore and let's not miss any detail. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we, should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, here we go. There we All go. Right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Hey, I'm out of control of this. Well, I guess I am, kind of, but... All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. This is a huge is, room. Is that it? Yeah. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Maybe something in here? The, well, we can also just not do it. We can just move on to the next thing. Let's do it. Let's just do it. New content. Guys, look at this, guys. New content. It's letting me jump here. Five, four, three, two, one. I can't even jump anymore. I all of a sudden have no ability to jump. Well, that was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> what? Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say... Initial impressions of this game are not positive. I'm feel It's just you. elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Yeah. Now, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Well, I appreciate you trying to keep an open mind, narrator. This is this is very this is an interesting room. 
John, thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no <laughs> respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. <laughs> and don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department what? signed off on this? <laughs> I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally uh -oh. accountable. No. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It's alright. I could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Oh, it just did it automatically. Okay. Oh, what is different? Huh? Okay, this is all different, narrator. Do you have anything to say about this? Psst. Stanley. Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. You, what? Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? I, fine. I don't you know. Don't look anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I, oh, never mind. You're not a dog. Uh, I, I don't know if I, I'm in, no. I, I want to see what this does. New content door is now closed. When Stanley came to a set of two. Uh uh. Oh, okay. Go come back. Come back. Psst. Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Let's go see this new content. Oh. Why did you want to show me this? What did you okay. want? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it yes. got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. All right. I trust you. What? There's a printer here. Whoa. Okay. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been what? storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Wow. Okay, man, I dig it. Oh, thank you. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the is this worst. real? Is this real? No. Science Award. Maybe? Uh, <laughs> A trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. The Stanley Parable Alpha Test. Wow. Nice place you got here, man. This is really cool. Demonstration. Oh, was that was that what it looked like? I can't remember. Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. Go outside play for five years. Is that an achievement? That's funny. New video game releasing today. Create a surprisingly down-to-earth 
Rutgers goes from scandal to new crisis. Deals tough choices. That, god damn it. Why that picture? Wow, this is really, there's a piano up there. Why is there a piano up there? Little Stanley. Aww. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. <laughs> James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. Oh, and yeah. now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator oh. content. <laughs> the hour of new elevator content. But hey, you still have all this scenario. You can still look back on all these things. The original remake. Man, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Can't open these things. Oh, it closed on me. I wanted to see what was in the other room down there. Wait, can I open that? No. Damn it. I hope that wasn't a choice. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It was. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. You know what? I actually do agree with that. I mean, kind of. But there's got to be more oh, to this DLC. Oh. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? What's this? You don't know? Didn't you make this? Didn't you make this? Also, guys, I also recently did a playthrough on um, Super Liminal. If you guys want to see that on the channel, um, that is also that gave me like sending for Rebel vibes, kind of. Uh, there was some narration in there, kind of like the narrator. Not it wasn't driven by it, but you know it was more of a puzzle game. But it was super super cool. It plays with perspective and stuff. Steam. Oh no. Oh god no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I oh. haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Steam Surely these reviews, reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Well, from the music, it doesn't sound too good. Oh no. I wonder if this is a real review. Oh, here's one right here. Recommended. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be oh. funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Well, this is very interesting. 
We're on some weird path here, guys. Steam reviews. Is there one in there? Oh gosh, the, the thunder. There's a lot of these. I think it's cool how it's laid out. It looks like an old like industrial war zone. Oh, no fun. Wonder what's under that. Okay, let's oh. see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Of I mean... Course. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always... Well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. No, it's a, it is. I mean, look, we got some good ones over here that are all blurred out. They're just not, they're just not you know, highlighting them. It's not all bad, man, I promise. I know, I mean, I mean, yeah, you can be a little preachy. I mean, I know some of the other endings. Oh, I'm still pressing keys on my keyboard. I am still Stanley at his keyboard. This is definitely very different. Oh, oh, I thought those were planes. No, those are, like, goals. Alright. Well, here's another review in the water. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices I'm just gonna are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, mm -hmm. at which time everything all at once, so... Oh, we have to. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. Oh! Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or 
Maybe a manifesto. Manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But yes. that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about mm -hmm. this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review. Yes. Or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I don't know either, actually. educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review so that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. I want to see what happens if I don't skip him, but he's going game on. This is the best game. Hmm. Let me start over. How about this? From the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of... Quality. Where do the subtitles go? All right. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... I want to hear what he says really only so much I can ramble it. on to myself about it. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Uh, Wasn't there a door that led into this room? It did. I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think is it behind one here? can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window. Why is this back like here? That? Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to... Please step away from the skip button to oh. go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is, is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body I'm into trying. the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. I we need a door. We need a door of some kind. We I need can a work door. with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm I'm going to step away for just a moment and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Please, please. Please do not Press the skip button. Okay. Just okay. wait here. Wait here for me. And don't press the skip button. I, Got it? Yeah, I, yes. Good. I'll be right back. Do I trust him? He's not gonna... I'll wait like a minute. Um, but also, yes, I have this, the subtitles on everyone so that you guys can see what he's saying if you guys can hear it. I am also... And this is also my first time recording on this new computer. And this microphone is a little quiet um i'm talking at a pretty you know loud volume a, a loud talking volume you know I'm, i am projecting so i'm hitting you know not bad for the audio um but my my webcam here my new webcam that i'm using also has a mic on it and i may use that sometimes if that ends up being better the quality isn't as good obviously but the um you know it is it is better for volume so we'll see it might depend on the game but i hope the game sound to my voice like the con you know i think i hope it's okay right now please leave comments below let me let me know how the audio is if thing if everything's too quiet or if, you know if the game sounds overpowering me which i feel like it sometimes does um or or what so 
Yeah. Let me know uh, if anything happens. Uh, Nary, are you going to come back, buddy? Here's the fan. You going to come back? I don't think anything's going to move on. I think I have to press the skip button. Just narrator, if you get mad at me, if you get mad at me, I promise I waited. Nothing's happening. I want to check up on you. I care about you, buddy. Stanley, uh. Stanley, Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I know. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe, I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. There's nothing else to God. do. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no <laughs> idea who they are. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child. Wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break I anything press it again. unbroken. If only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. What does such an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone. And that I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. It's all out of my control now. Just you. Just your decision as to exactly when you're going to make me suffer, to leave me all alone. Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll press that button again, leaving me here. And surely you'll put your own desire to see what's next ahead of my need for company, for companionship. Surely you'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety <sighs> that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh, no, no, no. I know you too well. You'll be leaving me again. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out I of my head. Just... I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so You're important looping, buddy. For me I'm to... gonna fix you. Oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to uh -oh. again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it yeah. isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. The vessel. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the no. ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe, if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time that if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. 
When you press that button, you're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us, and I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. Oh. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now God. like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Okay. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. I just want to give him time because I want to see if there's a choice I can make with letting him go on. I don't want to press the skip button. Alright, I'm pressing the skip button. Sorry. Uh oh. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like- I'm doing it again. Sorry. I don't want to listen- Uh oh. I shouldn't have done that. I should have listened to what he was going to say. Dang it. I guess I'll just do it again. Oh, is that like a thing? When is this going to run out of battery? Or. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain <laughs> us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But what of course, is going on? absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such... 
what the heck is going on? I want to keep checking behind there to see if something appears, but he, he's not. He's not here. The end is never the end. 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 Is never the. That's very creepy. Fan's not working anymore. What is this? There's, there's stuff dripping back there. I'm ex I'm examining the room as it changes. I don't know when this thing. When is this thing gonna die? Oh! Is there a bad storm? Maybe we can get out. Finally. No, we can't. Press it. Is the, is the narrator going to die? Or is he dead? Oh my gosh. Pretty. I do miss the narrator though. There's not a way to get out, right? There is not a way to get out. Okay. What is that? What is that noise? Oh gosh, this is creepy. This is a long ending. What is happening? What is going on out there? This is very creepy. This all of a sudden took a very creepy turn. Oh. Oh, it finally did die. Unless it'll turn on. I don't think it's going to activate. Huh? Okay, this is not activating. For sure. We know it's not activating now. What happened? Oh, we can't get on. Okay. Wow. All right, guys. Well, that was it. Um, that was another ending. Uh, I didn't get an achievement. I don't think it really... Does it keep track of your, like, endings? I don't remember, but... Um, yeah. Um, that's going to do it for this episode of The Sandy Parable. This is probably already two episodes worth, so this may be episode two that you're watching. I'm not even sure, because I've been recording for over an hour now um, since I started... Um, but anyways, that's it. I hope you guys liked the first episode or two of whatever this is, um, so far. Uh, this is the first playthrough I'm doing. Actually, the first video I'm, re I'm recording on my new PC setup. And so I hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know how the audio is in the comments below. Um, if it's good, if the volume's too loud or too, sh the game volume's too loud or too, or too low in this case. And, or if it's overpowering me, what, like, like I know it sometimes does with this mic because it's kind of quiet. Um, 
But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, leave a comment down below letting me know. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, and you can hit the bell to get notifications for when I upload next. Thank you again so much for watching this episode of The Stanley Parable, and as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.